Here's a video on how to use and kind of the reasons for a little script that I created for ProPresenter 7. I call it the Pro 7 Media Sweeper. Uh, it is located on GitHub here, and it's right now, it's Windows only. It's written in auto hotkey, but I've created a executable, uh, compiled the executable so you can just download it and run it on your computer. And what it does is it cleans up all the unused media that ProPresenter kind of hoards hangs on to, it doesn't actually delete it, it just kind of moves it into a directory where you can uh, review what it's moved and just to make sure that it's moving the right stuff for you. So first of all, in order to download it, just go to this uh, GitHub page here, it's GitHub, uh, my user account, Pro7 Media Sweeper, and go over here to the Releases tab. And uh, this uh, right now, I've, I'm calling it point five Alpha, that's the latest release. I've been using it for since uh, May, and it works pretty well. I haven't had any issues with it, uh, so I'll, I'll probably create an uh, official release sometime soon. And down here on in Assets, here's the executable. You can click there to download that. There's also the source code that you can download if you actually want to see how it works. Like I said, it's written in auto hotkey. First, I wanted to explain a little bit about ProPresenter here, how ProPresenter kind of handles the media files and why we need to why we need this utility so first of all pro presenter has media files kind of scattered all over the place uh they can be in your media bin down here uh there's audio files over here uh, and there's also um media files that just get directly added to uh playlist items or uh documents in pro presenter that aren't even in the media bin necessarily what my script does is it looks for anything that's unused that ProPresenter won't find, moves them to a place where you can easily review what to move. Now, if you go to ProPresenter Preferences, Advanced, here's kind of how ProPresenter is set to manage the media files. First of all, the Support Files path here. Uh, this is a set setting, and normally it's in your Documents ProPresenter folder. Uh, you can change that if you want, but this is the default. My documents are, in my case, Arlen Documents Pro Presenter. Then there's also this setting right here called Manage Media Automatically. That's by default that is enabled on a new Pro Presenter installation. What that does is every time you add a media file to Pro Presenter, Pro Presenter actually makes a copy of that file and puts it in the support files directory here. Now, if you don't have that checked, it won't actually make a copy of that file. It'll just reference that file wherever it is on your hard drive, wherever it is on your computer. Usually I recommend keeping this managed media automatically enabled. Uh, the problem with that is you can collect a whole bunch of media on your computer that isn't even used anymore. I mean, there, there can be gigabytes of videos and pictures and music bytes, uh, whatever, uh, backgrounds that ProPresenter isn't even using anymore. And that's what this tool is made so that they can clean their computer off and eliminate some of those gigabytes of data that you're just kind of wasting. Now, in ProPresenter, like I said, there's uh, lots of different areas that it can, that media files can live. Uh, in your library playlists, your playlist items, your documents can reference them. Um, these uh, media bin playlists down here. And uh, like if you, Delete these playlists, you ha I'm gonna, or delete this media item, I should say. I'm going to delete this one here. I have a couple of different options when you are deleting stuff in ProPresenter. One is move to trash and delete cubes. Now, if you move to trash, it's going to take that media file and delete it off of your computer. It's move, move it into your recycle bin, I think it actually does. I could be wrong about that. Uh, delete cues will kind of hide it from ProPresenter but it's not, it's still on your computer. There's no way to know what ProPresenter is using and what it's not using. At least it's very difficult. I'm just going to cancel that for the moment. Now, like I said, the media files are stored in the ProPresenter media directory. And most of them go usually in this assets folder here. So you can see there's a whole bunch of files that I have in here. This is actually kind of a, my a demo machine. I don't actually use this in production. There's a bunch of files in here. Some of these files are used in ProPresenter, 
and some of them just aren't. Now, in order to figure out which ones are used and which ones are not, it's extremely tedious, basically impossible uh, to try and figure out what's in ProPresenter and what's not. So that's why I created this tool called ProSound Media Sweeper. Now, you see the executable that's right here. It's really easy to run. Nothing you've got to do is, I think you can run it with ProPresenter open or closed. Um, I would recommend just closing ProPresenter just in case. So all you got to do is, after you download the file, we're going to run the, the program. So I just double clicked on that. And first thing that comes up here is a warning. This script will move all files in the chosen directory if they're not referenced in any presentation or playlist. So if it can't find that, it, what it does is it searches all the files that you tell it to search. And if it can't find that file in ProPresenter, it's going to move it um, that you can review and then delete them later, hopefully. So continue. Yes, I want to continue on this. Now, the next thing it's going to bring up is this Browse Folder dialog here. And what it does is it defaults to that My Documents, so Document, Documents, ProPresenter, Media. It checks that folder by default. Now, if you're not using that option that I showed you earlier to manage media automatically, your folders might be in a different location. Browse to wherever you're holding those media files on your computer. It's not actually going to delete them. It's just going to move them. That's what we're going to see next. I'm going to click OK here. Now, it asks you if you want to include subdirectories in the search. So usually, yeah, I want to include subdirectories. But if you don't include subdirectories, it's only going to look at the files within the directory that you chose there. I'm going to click Yes. And uh, pretty quickly, this isn't a big ProPresenter installation. Like I said, this is not a production machine. It finishes pretty quickly. It found 44 unreferenced files and moved them to this location here, and it had zero errors. Now, usually if you have an error, it's, it tried to move a file, but it couldn't. Uh, sometimes if I run it twice, it'll try to move a file, but that file already exists where it's going to trying to put it. So, okay, I'll click OK there. Now, what it did here is it put a folder, new folder called swept files in the same directory that I ran that uh, script file from. So wherever I open this executable from, that's where it put the swept files. If I go into swept files here, it keep, maintains the same folder structure as you had before. So here's all the files that it found that weren't being used in ProPresenter anymore. Okay, I can go back to ProPresenter now. I'm going to open up ProPresenter. Okay, so uh, here's uh, some of my files here. If I just click around, yep, I still got these files in here. They do show when I click on them. Um, like I said, I haven't had any issues with it. It is pretty strict on the way it finds files. Uh, it's possible that uh, it won't find every single file, but uh, I haven't, like I said, I haven't had any problems with it. So that's that's how it's used. Uh, again, it, it, uh, if you go back to the swept files um, folder that it created here, now that it's swept those files, you can go in here and um, in my case here, I had uh, two and a half gigabytes of files that uh, were not being used. Now you can review these files, put them back if you want them. Now, if I would go to a ProPresenter, let's say I'm going to delete this file here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete the queue. Okay, so I just deleted that queue. Now it's gone from in ProPresenter, but it is still on my disk. It's still taking up space on my disk. You might say. Now I'm never going to Kind of browse to it or find it anywhere because it's kind of just thrown into the that uh, media assets folder. Now, if I go back to uh, let's see here, so files. I'm just going to delete these files that I swept previously. I'm going to run this program again. I should find that one file that's not referenced in ProPresenter anymore, and uh, sweep that one. So again, the Default playlist or default folder location. Click OK. Uh, I'm going to include subdirectories. Yes, it found one unreferenced file and moved it. So if I go bit into my swept files here, created, there's that file that I deleted the queue from. 
that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Uh, it is Windows only right now. We're working on a port to Mac uh, to do the same thing on Mac. That's a slow process right now because I don't have a Mac machine, so I'm working with some other people on that.